Hello Genius! Ang video natin today is about the uh, math board exam sample problem which was given last November 2012 Here's the question if cosine x is equal to 3 divided by 5 and cosecant x is less than 0, find the secant of x. Second, if tangent x is equal to 8 minus 8 over 3 and cosecant x is less than 0, find the sine of x. Third, if sine x is equal to 2 third, and cosine x is less than 0, find the tangent of x. Now, to solve this one, of course, you need to know first the six trigonometric functions. They are the sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, and cosecant. So, from here, we have to differentiate the six trigonometric function when we say <clears throat> sine for example x the angle is x now if we will have this triangle and we will designate this one as <clears throat> o and this is A, and this R, and this is the angle X. According to mathematics, sine of this angle X is equal to the opposite, which is this one, the opposite of this angle, which is this, O, over the hypotenuse which is, we designate this as R. So, since this is sine x, now how about cosine x? Cosine x is equal to, according to this one, is adjacent, this is the adjacent side, over the hypotenuse side. So, it's A over R. That is cosine. Now, <clears throat> next, we have the tangent. Tangent of x is equal to the opposite, which is O, over the adjacent, which is A. So, we have sine, cosine, tangent, and the cotangent x is equal to the, the reverse of tangent, which is 1 over tangent x. And second x is equal to the reverse of cosine, which is 1 over cosine x and the cosecant x is equal to the 1 over sine x. So, it's very important to know these six trigonometric functions which is the sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. Now, if we will apply this one to this problem, now, number one, cosine x. Now, <clears throat> if we have this diagram, x and y, this one x, and this is the y. So, if you see cosine, here in the first quadrant, all this one is positive. Positive 
x and positive y. Second one, because it is the opposite of the x, so it is the minus x and y. And this one here, because all it is in opposite direction of the x and the y, so it is minus x and minus y. And this one, the x is positive and the y is negative. So these are the <clears throat> first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. So to answer the first question, it's written here as cosine x is equal to 3 over 5, meaning if this is the triangle, and this is the x. So, cosine of x is equal to 3. This is the adjacent because cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is this one, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So, it's given there as 3 divided by 5. Cosine of x is equal to 3 over 5. Now, what is the question here is the second x. Second x is... So, according to our definition here, second this is equal to the reverse of the cosine. That means 1 over cosine. Means, we have the given a cosine which is 3 over 5. So, the reverse of that one will become 5 over 3. This is the second x. This is the answer for the sec first one. Now for the second one, the second question, if tangent x is equal to negative 8 over 3, it means if it is negative, that means it is on this side. Because uh, tangent, tangent of x is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So, it, because it is negative means, it's like this. So, if this is the x, therefore tangent is equal to the opposite, which is minus 8 over 3. Now, what we're looking for here is the <clears throat> We're looking for, because if this is 8 and this is 3, so we're looking for sine. Sine is equal to, sine of x is equal to the opposite, which is the minus 8 over the hypotenuse. Now here we have to find the hypotenuse. <coughs> The Pythagorean theorem states the hypotenuse squared is equal to the opposite squared plus the adjacent squared. Therefore, this is 8 squared is equal to 64 plus 3 squared is equal to 9. Therefore, R is equal to x squared root of 73 so therefore if this is square root of 73 sine therefore of x is equal to the opposite which is minus 8 over square root of 73 or this one you can change this one to because if we will multiply by square root of 73, there will be 8 square root of 73 over square root of 73 multiplied by square root of 73 is equal to 73. So, this is the sign x. Negative 8 square root of 73 divided by 73. 
Our first one is second of x. Now the third question, third one, is what is the given is sine, sine of x is equal to 2 over 3. Meaning, this is 2 and this is 3. Now, what we're looking here is the tangent of x. Now, tangent of x is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So, 2 over a, which is this one. So, we can solve this one only if we, we have the value of a. So, to find the value of a, we have the... As Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus 2 squared is equal to 3 squared. Therefore, a squared is equal to 9 minus 4, which is equal to a is equal to square root of 5. Therefore, tangent of x is equal to 2 square root of 5 or this can be written as 2 square root of 5 over 5 x is equal to 2 over 3 meaning this is 2 and this is 3 now what we're looking here is the tangent of x. Now, tangent of x is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So, 2 over a, which is this one. So, we can solve this one only if we, we have the value of a. So, to find the value of a, we have the as Pythagorean theorem a squared plus 2 squared is equal to 3 squared. Therefore, a squared is equal to 9 minus 4, which is equal to a is equal to square root of 5. Therefore, tangent of x is equal to 2 square root of 5 or this can be written as 2 square root of 5 over 5. So here is our third answer. Now as I said earlier, this kind of problem is very easy only if you know the trigonometric the six trigonometric functions and the meaning of each.